Hi. <laughs> Why don't you conduct this interview, Sol? Deal. I'm here with Tasha and her beautiful half of the family in addition to Josiah who's running yeah. around who's probably he's an adult boy going around and doing stuff but um you know Tasha you guys probably know her YouTube channel I'm not here to give breastfeeding information to people because that's not something in my life that um, essentially is pertinent um, but maybe one day, who yeah. knows? Um, but I want to. Guys can breastfeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you What do you mean? I'm serious. <laughs> okay, but I want to ask you, like first and foremost, um, you're obviously so proud of breastfeeding and educating people on it. But in society, most people would find it very vulnerable to show their bodies in the yeah. way that you do on camera. And I'm gonna have to get even more comfortable because when there's two of them, they're just... Yeah. Oh, wow. Did you have to get comfortable with showing that online or is it something that came natural with you? No, so my first baby, Josiah, I was like terrified to breastfeed him. And then I started with, with him, I was much more conscious and like aware of everything. In, in general, I guess you could say I can't really say one thing or another. But I mean, with him, I didn't want to have a doctor. I don't want to have a midwife. I was just going more of like the like nature, the like natural way. Mm. What felt what felt right, as opposed to what didn't. And then I looked into breastfeeding and like other moms that were just breastfeeding and like not because the whole covering up thing is like. Making what are you doing? <laughs> making them fun? eat under a blanket. Yeah, it's like you eating under a blanket. Like, yeah, they hate it and they'll yeah. like swatted it. And, like, it's uncomfortable. All of your sensory, what everything is going on, is taken out. And for a child, out. that's probably really scary. That's yeah. What are some tips for you for um, women who? feel self-conscious about even breastfeeding in public. I mean, most people aren't going to start a YouTube channel talking yeah. <laughs> about this. And you've really taken that next step to say, like, this isn't sexual, this isn't um, disgusting, this is actually beautiful and natural and educational and just normal to what everyone should be doing. But for people who do feel vulnerable about breastfeeding in public, what are your biggest tips of overcoming that? Okay, first of all, I can definitely say, like, lifestyle is a big part of it, like my lifestyle, the way that I choose to live naturally, more plant-based, vegan, you know, not partaking of like that consciousness of a dead screaming animal. I think that has a huge part to it because no, I'm no longer living in like the survival chakra fear mm. based reality that most and a lot of people are and that might sound kind of like weird <laughs> to some people but mm -hmm. it is what it is having a natural birth and having that bonding period with your child and then also kind of like wanting the best for your child and then not caring what other people think that's the the biggest part it, it all it all ties into each other in into each other yeah but not caring what other people think is huge. The more you feel like, oh, well, you're not loving yourself, then the more somebody else's ego is gonna just, like right now, it probably sparked a lot of ego. Like, well, oh, you're telling me that I don't love myself because mm -hmm. I can't rest, yeah. I, I don't wanna rest in yeah. public or I'm sure. not comfortable, you know? So it's like, it is, It is, the fact of the matter is, it is a part of like loving yourself. When you love yourself, you love other people more the more you love yourself. So. Mm -hmm it goes hand in hand with breastfeeding and with your children. Cool. But and then, yeah, just the last question I'll yeah. ask you is, um, is breastfeeding a choice and an option a mother should have or do you think of it in a different way? It is at yeah. the same time that it isn't. Like, it's just like once you cut, once humans start coming back to love and start coming back to nature and start coming back to our true essence, we can see that it's like, not only is it not a choice, but it's like it's a, it is a freedom. It is a like it's a it's a what? It, how would you say that? It's it's like a blessing to be able to do it. Like oh my gosh, I can give my baby the best food on this planet at this moment for their development for everything. Yeah. And that's like it's a blessing. It's like this is fucking amazing. Absolutely. My YouTube channel, Spiritual Tasha Mama, or Sexy Spiritual Tasha Mama, and then I have Instagram, it's at Tasha Myla. 
have Snapchat, Tasha902, and that's it right now. <laughs> and Tasha has a lot of exciting plans in the future. I don't know how much of them are public and private, but you guys oh, go follow, <laughs> follow her on YouTube. She's doing really cool stuff, it's gonna help a lot of people, yeah. um, you know, hopefully, and tie in getting back to nature, loving yourself, and eating plant-based, and being a parent, and it's beautiful. And there's I'm a, pregnant. And there's a new baby <laughs> coming in here. Um, yeah, that, that journey is gonna be shared publicly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Peace out, guys. Thanks.